everybody and welcome to my brand new let's play I wanted to do something a little different so here it is the secret of monkey Island special edition I do apologize see that little circle that little box that it's circling it's in the entire length of the recording, which is um, entire chapter one I recorded in one session, and that box stays there for the entire recording session. And I can't get rid of it, so you're just gonna have to put up with that, I'm afraid. <laughs> but this is a game I played when I was when I was a younger, actually, um, on the Amiga Comp. The, on the Amiga. I was gonna say Commodore, it's Commodore Amiga, but yeah. And this was one of my favorite games of all time. So, now that I actually have Special Edition, I wanted to play through it for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I love the music for this. And they did a wonderful job remastering it. Definitely. And adding voice acting too. <laughs> Hi. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Well then, Thriftweed. <laughs> Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. <laughs> but if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. Nice name for a pub, The Scum Bar. Like, only scums hang out here. By the way, Guyver Streetwood is the awesome failure to be a hero ever. And you will always see that people will always get his name, either his first name or his full name, or his last name, wrong. They, they always manage to fuck up his name somehow, and uh, it's just, it, it's so funny. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. That moon is so big. And this is what it looks like, because you can press F10 to switch between the two. And that moon was just like that. And it's big on this one, so... And this is the scum bar. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? I prefer his old look, to be honest. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Yeah, it is pretty dumb, isn't it? That's okay. Mine is Mancombe Seagull. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. And why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. 
It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. No shit. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very serious. <laughs> uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. I like my nice he's good. Have fun on Melee Island. I'll try not to talk I'll try not to talk when they're talking so that you can hear it. What are you looking at me for? This is Esteban. I do not like the purple text above his name because it clashes with the window. In the background. It's bugging the governor. Lichuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. And then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly? The job was a fierce battle. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. We had no survivors. We thought that, that was the end of the fearsome pirate, the Chuck. We were wrong. What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. <laughs> yeah? So what? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for the Dark Boy. Dark Boy? We don't have one. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. No, they don't. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens, but... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You can wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Look, uh, this whole lechop thing has me pretty shaken off. So, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, the issue I have with this purple writing is because it's on. It, it, when it's on a background like that, it should be lighter. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love the fact that you can talk with the dog. <laughs> and the year of the pirate leaders. But first, we're actually going to wait here until the cook comes back out. The reason is, is because we actually need to go into the kitchen for two important, well, three important things actually. But that's what it looks like. You'll see me pressing. You'll see me switching back between Classic View and uh, Remastered Edition quite frequently because it's nostalgic for me. So you just gotta wait here. You have to wait here because uh, you can't go in there while the cook's in there, and the cook has to be past the curtain before you can sneak in. There he goes. Watch this. Hey! Go 
Don't go into the kitchen. See? Now we can go. So, the first thing you want to do... Well, I like to close the door to be on the safe side. But, pick up the hunk of meat, pick up the pot. You don't have to use the meat with the pot. But I like to... Got it. I like to cook the meat. And now we need this red herring. Nope, I think one more. Peck my hand off. There we go. You have to keep standing on that board until the bird does that and then you can go. You can't close that door again. Once it's open, it's open. Okay, now we can talk to the pirate leaders. What be ye wanted, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole Lake Chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. He can. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through. Three the blue, the pirate with the blue uh, texts. What three trials are those? Has the same issue of it being too there dark against the background. See that one's fine. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. <laughs> yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, my friend. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug him or something. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Bailey and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. What's in that grog stuff anyway? I love this bit. <laughs> grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, Acetone, red dye number two, <laughs> scum, axle grease, battery acid, and, and or pepperoni. pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, 
Stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> yeah. I'll just keep running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Mastering the sword takes the longest out of the three trials to do, and there's a good reason for that. Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Look at that, the text nearly took up the screen on the classic one. Captain LeChuck, sir. I. Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah. <laughs> uh, Sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Not convinced. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. He's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have to take care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. That is the ghost pirate LeChuck. I wanted to show you what LeChuck looked like, but I didn't want to ruin the dialogue like I did with the boat, so... I just wanted to shoot... With the boat thing, I wanted to show you how much text... How big the text was that took up most of the screen. There's the lookout. I just loved it. It's like a nice... I mean, obviously it looks better now, but... Now, you wouldn't know this. I don't know how you would know to go here first, but you do need to go here first, the clearing. And this is probably one of my favourite parts of the first chapter. The Fiducia and the Brothers! Get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I cannot do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. You know, this would be a. This would be a one where they could have dark text because you, you can hardly see that. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Top. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Nerdwell. Scuffler. Mullet head. Millet head. Pencil head. Half head. Cheese head. Harvey. What? <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Ah, your mama wears a combat sneakers. Leave her mother after me. Get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. You're a chicken. You're a dead chicken. Well, you're a dead chicken with a pulley in the middle. What? Just to get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get 
getting the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. We shall. Why are you guys dressed up? Say there, son. <laughs> how would you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance to perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Perugini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Uh, quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> we'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have yep. you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? <laughs> He used well, a pot for a little bit. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sir. Yeah, you used the pot as a helmet. And it's not the first time you do it either. <laughs> ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. I love Step this. right over here, son. <laughs> Put on your helmet and get in the cannon, and we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo. Oh. <laughs> it works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's <laughs> arrived! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and a financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. <laughs> no, me! No, me! Slap! Loser! <laughs> Ruffian! Fop! <laughs> Those crazy spaghetti brothers are still in there. He calls them spaghetti brothers. That whole I'm Bob and are you my mother actually comes from another LucasArts game called Loom. And actually there was a guy in the scum bar that that has like an ask me about Loom badge on him. But I never have talked to him in the special edition. So we're going to go back to the village. Yeah, that one in the that one in the forest you can't get to yet. That light in the forest. There's a house there, but yeah, there's a path to it. Sorry about that. So now that we have pieces of eights. We can go buy some stuff because we need supplies if we're gonna do the three trials. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Mm hmm. Only 100 pieces of bait. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. Sounds like a good idea. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now, now get, get lost. lost. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Hmm. Still 10 o'clock. Seems like it's always 10 o'clock on this island. It is always 10 o'clock on the island. It, the time never changes. I think it's because the clock is broken, to be honest. Alright, so this is a chicken. 
It's actually a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? Yep. What possible use could that have? Maybe oh, you'll miss just this one thing. You'll find out what purpose it has. Now, we could go talk to the person over there, but we're not going to yet. Put simply, it's a fortune teller, and after you complete each one of the trials, she reveals more. So there's really no point in going there until... Ooh. Piss. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh boy, here we go. Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Mm-hmm. Did you hear something back in here, too? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm new in town. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Good job you didn't tell you were a pirate. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Uh-huh. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. I don't, because I know who it is. Fester Showtop is a mean, mean, mean guy. The reason I didn't go back in the shop is because I wanted to talk to him first. This is Otis. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. So... Actually, we're getting near the end of uh, this episode, so... Next time. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Oh no, we still got two minutes. I'll behave myself. So grab the shovel, grab the sword. I believe the sword is seventy-five pieces of gold, right now. and the sword want? is a hundred. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? Now you notice I you could just like to browse. If you, if you notice. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Anyway, see you next time.